Hey, and welcome to the first episode of Canacity. This is James, and I'm Jenna. Welcome to the Garden of Whedon. For this episode, we're going to be talking about a new product that we found in our um, dispensary today called the Bezel Blend, and this is Tangy Jack. We've got approximately 75 servings, 8.1 milligrams of THC, 0.15 milligrams CBD per serving for a four second puff. THC 81%, CBD 2%, 10% terps. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. So all right, now for the unboxing. We tend to look for things that have high THC because we're more into the THC than the CBD. We found that a lot of crystals, if we're talking about flour, we like a lot of crystals. Um, if we're talking about cartridges or shatter, we tend to look for terpenes. The higher the better. Oh yeah. So nothing much comes in this other than the little card that we saw before. Um, it just tells us the same thing I just told you. Here is the cartridge. These only come in half grams because apparently the manufacturers like to use the best of the best of the best. Although this wasn't expensive, this was only what, 26 bucks? And that's 27, before, 27, that's before my military discount. So 10% um, terpenes right out the gate. This is gonna be a good one. And they were saying, they were talking about this brand, saying that they only use top shelf ingredients. They only sell it in half grams rather than full grams that a lot of other companies sell it in because they use such high quality materials in it and also because the full grams, they said that if you let them sit for too long, they start to kind of deteriorate. Degrade and get kind of weird and gloppy at the bottom. Yeah, so apparently this bezel brand, they use all top shelf and that doesn't happen. Well, from first inspection, what we've got is a nice honey colored liquid. Looks really nice in there. All right, I think we're ready to take a healthy old hit off that. Right now we're at four volts. Anything that is a cartridge, and if you're not using their cartridge, be very careful on the uh, volts or watts that you're pushing through there. I'll try to put a link of Ohm's Law in the comment section. That'll kind of tell you where a safe spot is uh, to vape these things. Typically I put mine on about four volts, which is around 9.4 watts. I usually try to stay anywhere between 6 to 10 watts when vaping these guys because these are typically about 1.7 ohms. So just be very careful. You don't want to put these things on a mechanical mod because there's no regulation there. So be very careful. Do you want to take the first hit? I already did. Oh, you did? I'm not even stoned yet. I can't quite figure out what the taste is. It tastes almost like chlorine. No, it doesn't. With a little bit of a kind of a lemony flavor in there. Sort of lemon. Not a bad flavor though. And sort of citrusy, mm -hmm. but not real strong. There's been a lot of other ones we've done that have been a lot stronger. I think it's called limonene and mang manganine that I think that I'm actually sensing in there. It's the uh, the mango and the lime flavors, the citrusy flavors, which those are good terps. Lemon especially, if you're in kind of a grumpy mood, the uh, the lime terpene in there is really good. It kind of brings you down and makes you a little less grumpy. Yeah, definitely a lot of citrus in there. Yeah. We breathe them through our nose sometimes because you get a better taste that way. It's kind of like uh, wine people. Um, I'm one of those wine people, but when I take a sip of wine, I do all those weird, annoying, gurgling, swirling things in my mouth. It's kind of the same thing with the marijuana. Um, you get a lot more flavor through your nose, and also you've got a bunch of membranes all the way through your whole nasal passages. Um, so breathing that out allows some of those membranes to capture the THC that's exiting your lungs. So it's a kind of way to uh, get more bang for your buck. So right out the gate here, I'm starting to feel a little bit. Um, it's a sativa, so it's definitely a mental high. Um, pretty uplifting, a little euphoria there. Definitely a um, classic tangy. Mm -hmm. Did you ever use my tangy flower when I used to smoke yes. nothing but tangy and mm -hmm. flower? Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything yet, but I have a super insanely high tolerance, so it takes a lot for me to feel anything. 
Yeah, this still has a very... I want to say a Clorox taste to it. Because Clorox wipes are in lemon? That's that probably, why? Yeah, that's probably why. <coughs> you spend a lot of time licking Clorox wipes, do you? A little bit. A little bit. So, what else do you want to say about this? Um, so far I'm pretty impressed. Um, I have a really high tolerance to usually cartridges I have to work to get the high, but I've taken like, what, three hits so far? And I'm starting to feel something, which is a pretty good sign. Um, I guess that typically I just, you know, it takes me a while to get anything off these guys, and this, after three hits, uh, starting to make me feel something. Pretty good accomplishment. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty uh, pleasantly surprised with this. So what did you rate this out of 10? Um, so far, because I haven't smoked that much, and I haven't really gotten, you know, the big thump high, like, whoa. Um, I'm going to give this, for taste, presentation, clarity, I'm going to give it a solid 7. Um, and I'm kind of an a-hole when it comes to grading these things because it's either awesome or eh. So for me to give this a 7, that means that uh, all around, pretty decent product. What say you? Probably the same. What are some of the key features you liked about it? I like the terpenes. Mm -hmm. And I like that the THC, or total cannabinoids, was 80-something, like right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very so decent So I think product. if I was to smoke more of it and started getting an effect, then I would really like it. Mm -hmm. um, just because I like Jack Karen and I like Tangy. Mm -hmm. So put those two together, I'm sure I would like the effect. Decent. Anything else to add? I don't think so. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you liked it, like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, hit the bell so that you know when we upload new videos. All right. I was Jimmy. And I'm Jenna. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching the episode today. Before watching the episode, we're going to award you a white star. White star is for the white cane safety day. It celebrates and recognizes the achievements of the blind and visually impaired. So if you know anybody that's blind or visually impaired, hang out with them. Get them high and listen to some really cool music. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, watch our next episode coming up to collect yet another star. Have a great day.